Hi there, everybody. Uh, Daniel says, video conferencing still can't replace meeting someone face to face. I think video conferencing hasn't caught on yet because the equipment that is involved and the network bandwidth required will be a barrier to um, using video conferencing. My response was, I'm sorry, but I really don't feel that these are barriers anymore. You can get a digital webcam like the one that we're using in this video for $15 and you can easily and for free upload and embed the video anywhere using YouTube to host and enable the embed. You can use exactly the same style of technology for free to video conference by using tools like TalkBox. I have a website at talkbox.com slash john32 and you could start a video conference with me right now if I was on that site. Daniel also says, but once it's perfected, I think it'll be a great tool that will go beyond video conference calls on a phone or conference calls on a phone. It's still important to visit a business partner to get a feel for what they're like and know how their operation runs. There'll ne never be a replacement for face-to-face -face communication. While all alternate forms of communication are great, you can't connect with someone on a personal level unless you meet in person. And I disagree. I think that the time of wide acceptance is well on its way. In fact, I'd venture to say that it's here right now. I mean, there are millions of people uh, aware of YouTube and lots of them using YouTube to create videos just like this one. While it's fine to say that in-person meetings provide a richer interpersonal experience, I think it's very unfair to say that you can't establish a personal connection with someone in ways other than physical. If it were true, you'd have no personal or serious emotional connections with any author you've ever read, any music you've ever listened to via recording, or any other media in which you've never met the creator or content of the media in person. Um, we get attached to the inanimate every day. Thanks a lot.